Hey everybody, Mr. Rees with you today. And today we are continuing to look at rates and at unit rates. So just a reminder, a rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units. Remember before we talked about rates, we talked about ratios. Ratios simply are a comparison of any two quantities. A rate is a special type of ratio that compares two quantities that have different units, such as miles per hour right feet per second dollars per ounce those kind of things so we're comparing two quantities but the units must be different all right and then we've also talked about a unit rate a unit rate is a rate where that second quantity has a value of one so the example they give here in the textbook is if you go 60 miles in two hours that would be an example of a rate but if you divide both of those by two, then you get 30 miles in one hour, and that is a unit rate. So again, a unit rate, excuse me, a unit rate is where that second quantity is one. That second quantity is one. And of course, if you're writing it as a fraction, that second quantity will be in the denominator of your fraction okay so we're going to be working through some different problems and uh, the assignment I've given you involves a, a worksheet and also the textbook so I'm going to go ahead and pull up that worksheet here first all right so this basketball one is actually on the worksheet and I believe the nachos one is actually on the worksheet but let's do this hat one right here Okay, so we've got hats that can be purchased at store A, store B, or store C. And we're given the total cost, and then we're given the number of hats, and we are asked to find the unit rate. Now remember, the way to find a unit rate is to take the first quantity and divide it by the second quantity. To take the first quantity and divide it by the second quantity, okay? And I am telling you now that it's okay to use a calculator on this assignment. In, in fact, I strongly encourage you to use a calculator because if you don't, this assignment's gonna take way too long. So the point of this assignment is not to practice the arithmetic, rather it is to understand and interpret unit rates. All right, so I'm going to take that first store A, although you really shouldn't need a calculator for this first one, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it. The total cost is $24 for two hats, so I'm gonna divide the first quantity by the second quantity, and I get 12. So the unit rate for this first one right here is 12. All right, now I just want to let you know that when you are writing the answer on the worksheet, I am asking you every time to write it like this, a number, a decimal, and two places after the number. So even though the calculator just showed it like 12 like that, I would like you to write 12.00. Okay, so we're going to format them all the same way every time, a number before uh, a number or cup digit or digits before the decimal, a decimal point two after, and we always put the dollar sign at the front, okay? All right, so for the next one, what do we have here? For the next one, we have 51 divided by 3. So I'm going to put 51. I'm going to see if I put in 51 like that and then divide by 3 if it'll give me the answer that way. All right, and we get, nope, it didn't. We get 17, all right? So if we go back to here, then our second one is $17, $17 per hat. So this hat is more expensive. It's $5 more expensive per hat. All right, and the last one is going to be 75 divided by 5. So it costs $75 for five hats. So one hat would cost $15. All right, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put $15. All right, so then uh, I will be asking you some questions. For example, if I said uh, which store has the cheapest hats or uh, which store are the hats least expensive, you'd say store A. If I said at which store are they most expensive, you would say store B. If I said how much uh, 
How much less expensive is a hat at A than C? You would subtract and you'd go 15 minus 12 is 3. So I'll be asking you different questions like that. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another problem here. All right. Uh, maybe one where we can get some sense as answers so you can see how we should format it when the answers are in cents, but we're going to express them as dollars. All right, so I'm going to clear out my calculator. So we have gift wrapping going on. We have the total cost, and then we have the square inches. All right, so the total cost to gift wrap a necklace uh, is $1.80. All right, and that is for 18 square inches. So if you take a look, they want the cost per square inch. So I'm going to take the cost divided by the square inches. So I get $1.80 divided by 18, and I get 0 0.1. All right, so what does that mean? That means 10 cents. So we actually, if Mr. Reeves was allowing it, we could write, we could write it as 10 cents. If you think about it, what is 18 times 10? 18 times 10 is 180. So that would be 180 cents, right? But we're expressing our answers in dollars all of our answers are going to be expressed in dollars. So I'm going to put that zero, and then I'm going to put the one, but then I'm going to put a zero after that, okay? We want it to be 10 cents. It's not one cent. We don't want any confusion. That still wouldn't make one cent, but money always goes, cents always goes to decimal places. So be careful. Don't just put in what the calculator says, all right? That's a mistake that some have made in the past. All right, next problem. We have $3.24, and we are going to divide that by 108 inches. And when I do that, I get 0 0.03, or 3 cents, right? So that one would be 3 cents, 3 cents per square inch. All right, and finally, we're going to do the last one here. We have $3.60. And we're going to divide that by 90 inches. And when we do that, we get 4 cents. All right. So this one right here is 4, four cents per square inch. So you can see wrapping the necklace is quite a bit more expensive. The shoes were the cheapest and then the game and then the necklace. If I said, how much more expensive is the necklace than the game? You would say, well, that's six cents, Mr. Reeves. If I said, how much cheaper are shoes than a game? You'd say that's one cent. Again, those are the unit rates. All right. So that is how to work through that worksheet that I gave you as well as making sure you are writing it correctly. Okay. So let's go back to the textbook now and let's do some of the sample problems from the textbook. Whoops, I went too far. Here we go. All right, guided practice. Here we go. Number one, Brandon enters bike races. He bikes eight and a half miles for every half an hour. Complete the table to find out how far Brandon bikes for each time interval. Okay, so we have the distance. It says he bikes eight and a half miles for every half an hour. So do you see how this one's going up by half each time? All right, well, actually, yeah, it went from a half to one, and then one to one and a half, and then to one and a half to two, and two and a half. So here it's going up by one half each time. So here it's going to go up by eight and one half, okay? So here we go, eight and a half plus eight and a half. Well, eight plus eight is 16. Add those two together, we get 17. Then we're going to add eight and a half again, and that's going to give me 25 and one half. And then we're going to add eight and a half again. Well, 25 plus eight would be 33. But when we add those halves together, it bumps us up to 34. And then we're going to add eight and a half again. And we get 42 and one half. Okay. So you can see these are the distances. And this is the time. These are all rates, miles per hour. Now, if I said which of these represents a unit rate, which of them represents a unit rate? Well, that's this one right here. And why is that a unit rate? Because that second quantity is 1, right? So this would be all of these are rates. If I said he went 34 miles in 2 hours, 
that's a rate, right? But if I want the unit rate, then I would divide by 2, and that would get me to 17, right? So again, rate is comparison of any two quantities with different units. The unit rate is when that second quantity is a 1, all right? So if they ask you for the unit rate, all right, how do you get the unit rate when they give you a rate that's not a unit rate? Well, that's what we are going to do. We're going to divide is what we were just doing, right? Divide the first quantity by the second quantity. It's really, really simple. Divide the first quantity by the second quantity, and that will give us the unit rate every time. Again, if we had 34 uh, miles in two hours, if we simply do 34 divided by 2, we get 17, and that's our unit rate, 17 in one hour. What we're actually doing is we're actually dividing both of them by that second number, and when you divide that second one by itself, you get 1. But by, by dividing both of them by the second number, we keep the value. Remember how we talked about equivalent ratios? We're keeping the ratio the same, all right? But we usually just say, just divide the first one by the second one, right? So what do I need to do on this one? I need to do 3 and 1 half divided by 1 and 1 fourth, right? What do I need to do on this one? I need to do 5 eighths divided by two-thirds, right? This one I need to do one-sixth divided by one-third. On this one, I need to do five-eighths divided by one-fourth. Now, if we were not using a calculator at all, well, this one we would convert to a mixed number, right? I'm sorry, it is a mixed number. We convert it to an improper fraction. Two times three is six plus one is seven, so we'd say seven halves. Divided by 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, and we get 5 fourths. But then we would say, oh, it's a division of fractions, so I need to keep, and then I need to switch, and I need to flip. I need to change from dividing by a fraction to multiplying by its reciprocal. And then we would say, well, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, and then I'd say, okay, 4 14 fifths, right? So what does that mean? 14 fifths miles per hour. Or since they were given as mixed numbers at the beginning, it probably would be good to change it to a mixed number. Again, 5 goes into 14 two times, 2 and 4 fifths miles per hour, right? That makes more sense to us, 2 and 4 fifths, almost 3 miles per hour. All right, so if we were doing this one again without a calculator, whoops, let me go back to my red pen, all right? I would switch it. I, well, I'd keep the first number the same, and I would change the division to multiplication, and I would multiply by the reciprocal, and I'd say, can I simplify? I can. 2 goes into 2 one time. I'm sorry, 2 does not go into 5. <laughs> what was I thinking? Uh, 2 does not, well, 2 does not go into 5 evenly. It doesn't simplify. Sorry, I'm not sure what happened there. My brain just slipped a little bit. All right, I think I was looking at the, the 5 and the 8 here. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So since I flipped it over, 5 times 3 is 15, and 8 times 2 is 16. So he reads 15 sixteenths of a page per minute, all right? Which is just a little less than one page per minute minute those are the unit rates all right now i am going to allow you to use a calculator and i will be posting a calculator that does fractions i'll be posting that link for you so uh if you don't want to use a calculator you certainly don't have to but i am saying it's it is okay to use a calculator on this assignment because there's quite a few problems and again i want you to focus on understanding what we're doing here all right find each unit rate determined which one is lower? So if we take here, we have brand A. So we would take 240 and we would divide it by one third. That would be for A, right? For brand B, we would take 325 and we would divide it by one half. All right, so again, I'm just going to model it without a calculator. Dividing by one third is going to be the same as multiplying by three over one. And dividing by one half is going to be the same as multiplying by two over one. 
All right, so I need to do 240 times 3. Well, that's going to be 720. All right, so what is this? This is sodium per so milligrams per pickle. Wow, that's a lot of salt. All right, and this one right here, 325 times 2, that's going to be, what, 650 milligrams per pickle, right? So if you take a look, they told us how much for a third of a pickle, so we multiplied it by 3 to get one pickle. Makes sense, right? Here they told us how much for half a pickle, so we multiply it by 2 to get from one pickle. So which one is lower? Well, the lower one in this case would be this one is lower, right? All right, so that one is lower right there. Okay, we do the same thing on this one. We would do one-fourth divided by two-thirds, which would mean we would have to do what? One-fourth. So for C, we would end up doing one-fourth times three over two, right? And for D, we would end up doing one-third times four-thirds, right? Don't really need a calculator for this one. I'm going to get three-eighths. And this one is going to be 4 ninths. And again, what does that mean? This is cups per serving, right? They told us how much cups in two-thirds. We're now saying how much in one, right? In one serving, per serving, per one serving, right? This one is 4 ninths cups per one serving. All right, now again, they asked which one is lower. Well, what is smaller, 3 out of 8 or 4 out of 9? 3 out of 8 or 4 out of 9? Well, 3 is smaller than 4, right? But that's 3 out of 8, and that's 4 out of 9. Do you guys remember how we learned how we can compare fractions? You could take any fraction and change it to a decimal by dividing, right? So if I do 3 divided by 8, I get 0 0.375. If I do 4 divided by 9, remember, guys, this is going to be one of those repeating ones, I get 0 0.44444. So it does turn out that the 3 eighths one is the smaller one, but it's not because 3 is smaller than 4. Because remember, you have to look when you're comparing fractions, not just at the numerator, but at the denominator, right? This is more of smaller pieces. This is less of bigger pieces. It does turn out this one is still smaller than that one. All right. Okay. I think that is all I'm going to do in this video. You certainly are welcome to ask me for more help if you need it. Just a reminder, a rate is a comparison. Actually, can let me go back to right. It is right here. A rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, right? And a unit rate is when that second one is one. And how do we get that unit rate? By dividing the first one by the second one. I hope this was helpful for you. Have a great day, everybody. Till next time.